wall is 45 feet high and also boasts the tightest curving radius of any wooden trestle here in North America. As I said there, we do have three trestles on the board. As we make our way to the top of the hill here, uh, especially over the trestle, I do ask you please remain your seats there. I am confident your standing abilities, uh, but the train can hinder some of those. So, uh, once again, please remain your seats there as we make our way to the top of the hill. Now, as this is the tightest curving radius of any trestle here on the line, uh, as well as North America, the tightest curving radius of any curve on this railroad uh, is a 65-foot radius, a tremendously, tremendously tight in terms of traditional railroads. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're train slowing down here a little bit, as well as yourself uh, sliding back in your seat there, that is not a part of your imagination. Uh, we are heading up one of the marquee sections of our line here. This is known as the 8.5% grade. I mentioned a little earlier, a 5% grade. It's the same principle here. Uh, for every 100 feet, the train pulls along horizontally. We also rise just about 8.5 feet. Now, this train is approximately 200 feet long. Now, as you can see, we're not a high-speed commuter train, uh, as you would find on some of those big boys and challengers, things like that. Uh, the top speed on this locomotive and our train is just about 15 miles an hour. And if we do reach that, that would all, of course, be downhill. We can climb upwards of a 9% grade with that Shea locomotive up there. Uh, in comparison, on those side-driven uh, side driven locomotives, it's top out at about 3 and 4% grade. Now, in comparison to a side-driven uh, locomotive, of course, with two cylinders, one driving rod on either side of the locomotive, uh, in most cases, you would get uh, four power strokes for every one turn of the driving wheel. Of course, one power stroke for every 90-degree turn if your locomotive is working as it should. However, with this locomotive, the Shea up there doesn't have any lead wheels. Uh, it also, of course, doesn't have any trailing wheels. Uh, so every wheel supporting weight of that locomotive is also a driving wheel there also allowing the implied power of a locomotive to be much greater, allowing us to climb the steep grades uh, featured here on this line. Thank you. 